Hi, I'm Janice Merritt from JBM Things Sports Branding, coach's wife for 29 years and sports mom for 21. I had a parent recently ask me, what can I do about parents who sign their kids up to play, but they never volunteer for anything, yet they sit in the stands and complain about everything? That's a tough one because quite honestly, you're going to face that probably on almost every team that your child is on. There's always going to be those parents. There always is. And I would say to you that there's probably nothing you can do about them because they are not going to change. They are not going to change because you go and tell them, you know, you're lazy, you need to get involved. That's probably not going to be the changing factor there. But I do think there's a couple things you can do um, to help the situation, to make it bearable, to make it so, you know, maybe there might be some change that could happen. I think the first thing is to, to never enter into the sympathy groups, to, to, to don't get drawn into those complaining conversations where all they're doing is complaining, to don't listen to them, don't sympathize with them. Either you go sit someplace else, in the, during the game because you don't want to listen to their complaining or you just change the conversation you uh, tactfully redirect the conversation into another another way that's one thing the other thing I would say is you know if you are in a position of perhaps you're the team mom team dad maybe you're in charge of the snack bar or you're in charge of planning the end of the year party Ask that person specifically to help you with something. Find some little thing that they can do to help. You know, sometimes the reason that people aren't doing anything, they're not volunteering, is because we're not asking them. And, and you know, you I've been to parent meetings where they have a sign-up sheet and they say, come sign up and pick one of these jobs. And how many parents, a lot of parents, don't take the step to do that. But if you call them on the phone and say, hey, I really need someone to make these phone calls. I really need someone to help in the snack bar this weekend. I really need someone to help um, keep the time at the next game. If you ask them for help with a specific job, it's going to be harder for them to say no. And if they say no, I can't do it this time, then you say, okay, that's fine. When can I sign you up to help and do it another time? So you got to be gentle and don't take that no just for an answer like that. Keep nicely prodding them and asking them, okay, when can you do it? Don't just accept their answer. If they get mad and tell you, I am never going to help, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. But I do believe that people sometimes just want to be asked. And so if you keep at it, if you ask them in a nice way and you bring it up and you give them a specific job that you're asking them to do to help, it's hard for them to say no. It's going to be harder for them to say no. So that would be the, the, the second thing I would say. First of all, stay away from them. And don't join in their sympathy group. Second of all, ask them specifically for something to help with something specific. And I say lastly, sometimes you just have to ignore it. You cannot let these negative complaining people ruin what's fun and good for you. You have to, to just ignore it and, and not focus on them. Focus on the positive. Focus on your child. Focus on the team. Enjoy the good stuff and just get that noise out of your head. Just ignore that noise out of your head. It's not an easy thing to do, but you cannot let another person's negativity be the determining factor for your happiness. You either have to walk away from it, ignore it, shut it out, or whatever, but you can't let them ruin it for you. Don't give them that much power to ruin the season for you because when you do that, you're just, you're just giving them power to ruin the season. Don't give anyone else that much power to ruin the season for you. You can, you can do this. You can handle these parents by not hanging out with them, not joining their sympathy group, by asking them to do something specific to help, and then by maybe just ignoring them. Now, I know that's probably not rocket science. It's not anything probably really profound, but I do believe that, that really the only way that you're going to change people is by working on yourself, not by trying to change them. I hope that helps. Have a great week, and please remember to be part of the Positive Sports Parenting Tribe.